Only 50 more years and you can take that title? 50 years of streaming from now? Will I be at TSM at age 70 or so? Who knows? Thank you to <laughs> ZK Snarks with Prime. That'd be pretty insane. Okay, let's... Okay, let's, let's play the Bond Cloud. Let's finish this in style. Okay, anyway, this is round one. Um, let's play E4 again. Again, it's top 16 qualified, so really the only thing that matters is that you play it slow and you make it through to the uh, through to the knockout. So that's really all that matters. This is not great. I'm going to play this in castles. Okay, let's go rookie one, maybe bishop buff one. C3 is always a move as well. I don't see your second cam. I'm not going to turn it on until we're in the knockout stage. Okay, he does this, but I go here, I take, and I go rookie. Oh, C5, interesting. Now I can play A3, but C3 must be right to connect. It looks right, at least. Don Elgato for the dubs. Yeah, I think I'm just actually going to be up a pawn here. Wait, what? Isn't that just a free... Wait, what? Okay, Bornick blunders a piece. I mean, he'll probably just resign. Okay. I mean, but this is just losing. I go like knight b3. I mean, if I lose this, I deserve to lose. Because um, <laughs> it's almost impossible to lose here. Let's go here. I'm just up a piece. I mean, everything is good. Let's just go here, hit the rook. It's just terrible for Black. He just blundered a piece. Thank you, GT Mitch, for the four months. Hit the Rook. Yeah, he just resigned. I, don't, I guess, I mean, it's nice to get a quick win, but very surprising. For sure. Very, very surprising. Let's go E4. Okay. That seemed like a 1k I think probably just was distracted or wasn't set up or something. That's just my guess. Will I play OTB? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. It was a mouse slip? No, but it couldn't be a mouse slip because he would have had to move the knight. I think D4 is good here. Blunder equals mouse slip. Yeah, I don't think that was a mouse slip. My dude here, by the way, is super slow. What's going on exactly? GM Hans is streaming and playing. Did he pay $5? <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. Not cool. Not cool. What is with my guy here? What's going Like, what's with this time usage here? Is this guy like... I mean, he's going to lose the night. I... I this is two very weird games. Collab with Disguise Toast when? I don't know. I mean, I'd be open to collab with uh, collab with Toast. I feel like Hans earned that smoke, though, really. I mean, it's $5. It's a fun event. I mean, but I, I, don't, I don't think the context is necessarily 100% clear just from that clip either. So, hard to judge. This dude is... I don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's just block. I mean, he's just losing the knight to f3 next move because the pawns cover all the squares. I mean, every, every square is covered. I just take... Go here and trade, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why what's going on here. He should just resign. Very, very weird. Just trade and go check. Actually, wait, I can just go here and here.
I mean, luckily it's top, top 16 qualify, because otherwise I might be a little bit annoyed that he's literally not moving. We did get the world record, yes. We got the world record yesterday. Uh, we won 52 games in one hour. Maybe he's wasting time on purpose? I mean, somehow I doubt it, but... He's got a tower of power, but it's not a very good one. Let's go here. Just completely lost. I can actually just fix it. His his knight and rook, his rook and bishop are just out of the game forever. The knight just prevents any development. And these pawns are awful. Good checkmate. Okay, next game. Yeah, very weird first two games for sure. Maybe he got a phone call during the game. Maybe. I mean, who knows? It's possible, obviously. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on in this arena so far today? I'm really confused. He was trading AMC stock. <laughs> Good one. Okay, I'm just going to play a Gambit line, because why not? I mean... I think I'm just going to castle. Maybe C6, D4, I just take. Plays D3. I, I mean, I can play C6, but I think I should just take and... I guess I'll just go back and drop the bishop back. Let's go here in 84. Let's go here. Bishop b6, I guess. Maybe 96 and f5. He was paying his taxes, yeah. I mean, I, I guess I'll go a5. I, I don't even know. f5 was also a move, but a5 makes some sense. Chess is the best game of all time. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. These guys are pretty odd. These are some odd games today. Like some very weird games. Very slow also. Like the time usage is so slow. So, so slow. Why is my clock going so slow? Because I'm moving quickly. If you move quickly, time goes slower. Uh, let's go f5. I mean, I think I'll go here. Maybe knight c5 next move. I've actually not played this super precisely, but it still should be good. True, according to Einstein? Right, of course. Let's go here. I guess I can or cannot take. Maybe I can. Let's take. Let's just go here, maybe. I'm going to blast with e4 next move, probably. Uh, I think I go here. Let's just blast the center. I mean, his king is stuck in the middle of the board. Check. Go here, smash the center again. If here I have a four. Oh, wow. Big day. Nice. Okay, let's take with the bishop. I have f4 here. I also have queen g6. Uh, let's just go f4 and queen g6 here. Let's go here and bishop g3. No, no. I was looking. I was looking at... Um, I was looking at... Uh, I was actually looking at American Airlines. One of my stalwarts for a long time. Let's go queen f6 and queen h4. Um, he's actually kind of surviving, but I go bishop e6. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we played Joss from game four. I guess I'll just be solid. No, let's try to beat him, actually. we're It's top 16 qualify. So because top 16 qualify, there's no reason not to go after him. Okay, whatever. Let's play e5. I could have made a draw, but I, I don't want to make a draw. And queen c7 was the move there, but whatever. Let's keep going. 
What mouse am I using? I'm using the shroud mouse, you guys. We're using the shroud mouse. Knight d2? I don't think that's right, because I think d5 is supposed to be fine here. It's got knight c4, but knight d7 should be fine. I mean, this is actually pretty dry. Can I can go back here. I can also go to C6. I'll go this way, hit the pawn. Probably just rook C8. It's, oh, it goes A5. Interesting. I guess I'll just go here, maybe. Target the knight. Knight D6, I guess I just trade. Go here. Pretty dry position, actually. I have bishop B5 at some point. But I assume I just go here, knight F8, knight E6. Probably should be a draw with correct play. He hangs a pawn. Kind of. I can also go here. I think I'll just go here in 96, probably. How much would my setup cost? Probably about, like, maybe 1500 Maybe 1K to 15. 1K to 1500 that's my guess. It takes. I just take, obviously. Pretty dry position. Not much happening here. Okay, I can play Bishop B5 if I want to try and win. Do I want to try to win? Yeah, let's try to win the game. Not necessarily best, but let's try Ah, he ignores it. Interesting. Okay, I guess I go f6, consolidate my chain. Just like, I don't know, king f7 or something. Could have played g5 too, maybe. Not f5. I'm going to go g5, g4, h5 or something. Let's come back. Let's go here. f4, I take and go g4. It's actually getting a little bit sketchy for white. Because h5, h4 is very dangerous now. And the pawn is also permanently weak here. I mean, I just go like king f6. Oh, I gave bishop f2. But I guess that's not a problem, so I can just scoot over. I also have bishop b5 again. I think I'm going to go here, force him to trade. Okay, now... I think now it's going to get very scary for white. Although he's trying to run the king up. Let's just go check so I can take... He can't really come up because if he loses these two pawns. I mean, this is kind of scary for, for white. Okay. So I'm going to go h3. I don't know if it's necessary, but I figure I want to put the pawns here so that all these endgames are they're really dangerous for white. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. 92 even. This looks very scary for white, actually. I wonder if this is losing. I'll just go here. Threatening knight f4, threatening g3. And now I think it's just lost. I just take and go h2 and it's ggs. Pretty good game. Pretty good game. Just here, force the trade, and he can't stop the pawn. GG's. Four up, four down. Pretty good so far. Yeah, TSM basically has this room set up. They have a couple of these rooms set up. Um, so yeah, AMC is 70. Yeah, I mean, this is just absurd. Yeah. Let's go e4. Uh, let's go knight f3 here. Okay, I think I'll play this one in bishop c2 and h3 maybe. Yeah, 70 is rid ridiculous, of course. Can it go to 100? I still, I doubt it, but I mean, you never know. Like, but I, I feel like, I mean, the pump is pump is fully in fully in play right now. Uh, it's oh wait it's my move sorry let's go h3 and castles okay I guess hmm I guess I'll go here I don't know if it's right Guess I can just trade if I want. I don't really want to trade. I guess uh, I guess I will because I should be able to claim com some kind of slight advantage here with the diagonal. Let's go here and back. I guess. 
Um, let's take and go here, I guess. Try to trade some bishops so I can get an outpost. So a $10 stock, 7x in 24 hours, nothing wrong here. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's just take and go here. I'll just go here maybe. Knight a4 is an idea. Let's go here. He can't take, so I take. If I get b3, I should be fine. Let's go b3, of course. Want to put the pawn on a light square. Okay, let's bring the king in. I think I'm going to go here to force him to trade. Okay, rook b5. I guess I'll go here, hit the pawn. Maybe I'll reroute the knight now to... F3, maybe? Let's go here. Maybe rook c1. Pressure on the pawn. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. Oh, rook b6. I have knight. Wait. Now I get the outpost. Or do I? Yeah, I get the outpost. Let's go here. Consolidate. I'm going to go b4 soon. Okay, I have rook a4. I can also play like b4. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put the pawn on g4. And then maybe I'll actually walk the king over to b1. Okay, that's a mistake. It's not b4, knight c7 with the fork. The legendary pony is activated. Yes, it has been activated. I think I just take. Maybe a4 is also a move. But this should just be winning, I assume. I mean, I assume this is winning. Every all, all the everything is on the on the white tiles. Everything's on the white tiles, and my king is running in. This has to be winning. Uh how g5 is a move. I don't love it. Okay, how do I win this game? Let's go. Let's go here. It goes h5. Now I can obviously trade. I want to trade is a question. I'll go here and knight b5 maybe. This might be wrong. Yeah, I misplayed this. Why did I do this? Uh, I also don't have time. I just realized. Okay, I've, I've just got to do something. What am I doing? Wait, but now I go here. Wait, he gave me too many moves. That was a big mistake. But now my king gets in. Let's go here. I go here, here, here. Or a7, e3, a8. Yeah, I win. One tempo. Go here. Guess I'll just take and go here and here. All right, next game. Thank you to Meridux for the Prime. Thank you so much to Meridux. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we're playing Bornick. I guess I'll... I kind of don't want to be solid, but... Okay, takes. I'll take. Okay. Okay, wants to play this one. I'll just take and go here. I think knight d7 is fine here to hold the pawn. Let's go here and f6 and g6. I had this actually against Veselin Topolov in um, 
in my last actual over the board event, I think it was, um, in uh, in Hamburg, Germany, in 2019. Okay, he goes rook b1. Um, as I recall, this attack is not really happening here. Right, he goes a5, but I remember, like, I remember during my game against Topalov, I was not convinced that this was actually good for white. Because I thought the attack was too slow. Like, just c5. Because even though the bishop is on a bad diagonal, it's like, it's kind of open. And d5, I think I just go c6, and I, I create this, I don't know what you call this, this structure, the, the, the pawns. But I should just be winning here, because I have queen c5 next move. Thank you to QKA1J with the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Q1KJA for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, plays A7, which doesn't really concern me. I mean, even C4 is good here, but I assume I can just take all the pawns. Probably. My guess is that I should trade and go rookie 8, though. Because, I mean, this pawn is, is weak. This pawn is weak. I mean, he goes d5. Ah, so this is his idea. Although, I don't really understand what it does. Because I go knight e5 here. Although, I blundered, I blundered something very slightly here. Still okay, I guess. But, yeah, this gets a little bit iffy now. I'm going to have to try to mess this up. Let's go here. Okay, let's see. So, I just take... Wait, but he's got 94, which I forgot about, too. Actually, I kind of really misplayed this. He takes. He shouldn't have done that. Okay, I take. I take. Wait, I have e3, e2, c6. This could get very messy. Wait a second, let's see. E d5, 94. D4, b5, rook d1. 94, rookie 5. I think this is fine. No matter where, where he moves the knight, I have rook d2 or rook g4, basically. And AMC's back down to 59. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you to Happy as a Hippo for the 10 months. Thank you to Happy as a Hippo. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Knight F2. I think I... Wait, I have B... Wait a second. Why am I thinking so long here? Rook A4 obviously is a move. Is it a good move? I think it's actually okay. Unless I'm crazy, which I don't think I am. Although maybe I am because he has Knight D3, but eight, I mean... Yeah, I am crazy. He's got C6 or something. Yeah, I, I misplayed this, I think. It was Rook B3. He kind of lets me off the hook there. Because now I, now I should be able to draw this, I think. If I'm smart, I draw the game. Yeah, now now I should be able to draw this if I play this correctly. Let's just go here. Yeah, this this is definitely a draw if I play this correctly. Although now I blundered rookie three. But I have this. Okay, I guess I'll go maybe just here. There 
There we go. Next game. Six up, six down. Need a wild time move for the four gyps for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so that's six in a row, right? Or is that that's six? Yeah. It's not scoreboard's not updated. Okay, now it updates. A little bit lucky, yeah. Not a great game, um, but also not a terrible game either. Okay, let's go here. He was he was actually not better. I think he was worse in the middle of the game there. That's what I would say. I think he was a little bit worse. I think rook d8 is correct. He goes like queen e2 or something here. I think queen c8 is supposed to be fine. Just like rook e8 next move. Actually, let's just drop the juicer back. Okay, let's come back. Because now I have like rook e8 and bishop d6 or something, basically. He was at least at least equal after c5. Interesting. Thank you, Ola, Ola of Mania for the uh, for for the um, for converting to tier one sub. Thank you so much. Thank you to Gray Marmalade for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Gray Marmalade. Thank you so much to the Marmalade man himself. Thank you for the fives. Actually, I haven't had Marmalade in a while. I really do like Marmalade. Although Marmalade is orange, not gray. Let's see. Um. I think I'll go here. Alright, he goes bishop g5. So I guess I just go h6 and take with the knight, probably. If I take with the rook, there's a very weird idea with queen e4 with the double attack. Let's come back this way. Probably knight, knight g6 and force a trade. Marmalade is orange, isn't it? Or wait, am I wrong? Oh, marmalade is it's the orange spread. Or wait, am I raw? Wait, am I just insane? Okay, this is just a very dry game. No? The marmalade, thank you, Res Believe for the tier. Wait, the marmalade I always got at the store was, was orange. Oh, it can be any color? Okay, fine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Depends which marmalade you have. Okay, let's go B6 Consolidate. He has Knight of 5 and it's just a draw, but such is life. I mean, top 16 qualifies, so I shouldn't really be that frustrated. But I'm going to try to keep the game going, maybe. I'm up a lot of time on the clock here as well, so no reason not to. Let's go here. Yeah, no reason not to keep playing here. Although, I just wonder queen b7, kind of. Uh, he wants the end game. Interesting. I mean, I feel like my knight's better than his knight, kind of, a little bit here. It's still a draw with correct play, of course, but I feel like his knight's a little bit iffy. Let's go here, maybe g5. Okay, I think I'll go... Oh, knight, knight f4 is a very good move by him. I want to go here. Yeah, knight f4 is a very good... Let, let's go g5, try to trade off here. Now, obviously, trade. I can also go knight d4. I can also play knight b4, maybe? Does night before work or not? Let's go for it. I'm honestly not sure, but I trust that the structure is in my favor. C3. Okay, I'll take. I have this. I think I'm winning here, maybe. Let's go here, knight of five. Although now he has knight b5, maybe. It's a... No, but then I can just check. King e4. I can play f5, but I'm not. I want to win this game, so let's go for this. Let's go here. King f3, logical move. But I think I check and go this way, maybe. Okay, let's go. This is insane by me. Completely insane. I'm still going to draw, but very insane. Or I should draw. Oh, 
I blunder. Yeah, it's just a draw. Oh, he blunders. Whoa, he blundered that. Queen C3 is winning. Tough luck. Tough luck. Let's play our Grand Prix. It's been working so far. Yeah, so lucky is right, but... Okay, let's play the old line, my old childhood line. Let's go Bishop D3. This is the old, old childhood line. Give me my GM title. What was that? Queen B6. I mean, does he really want to give it to Bishop here is the question. I guess he does. Okay, let's go here, Queen E3. No different between the two accounts, you guys. It's just that th this is the one I use for all the competitions, and I have the other one. Um, Hans, however, does Hans have another account, or is this his only account? I guess is a question. It just occurred to me. I can go here. I think I just castle, though. Oh, this is Hans' only account? Okay. Maybe I have Bishop B4 to hit the pawn. Hmm. I can play f5. I don't love it, but I'll play it. Okay, let's go here. Hit the pawn on d6. Probably a check here or something. Maybe just even rook d1. A lot of pressure here. Maybe I even go h3, g4, because this knight is very bad on the rim. I'm just going to go here in G4 and maybe try to box out the knight here on the rim. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go... I guess I'll play G4 here. No reason no reason to, to play too aggressively. This knight is very bad on the rim. The pawns kind of dominate the knight. He's got, like, no jumps to the center of the board. I can play bishop b5. I think I just go here and trade, maybe. Okay, there's got to be some way to be better here. I'll take and go a3, I guess. Takes with a bishop. Interesting. Let's go here, target the juicer on d5, because or d6, rather, because he had rook d8, so I'm just guarding here. Okay, that's a free pawn. I think he forgot that was a free pawn. Okay, what is his idea? I guess I'll just go back. Let's go here so he can't take. Bring the king in, I guess. Oh, I blundered a5. Oh, that was very stupid of me. Let's go here. Oh, what am I even doing? He misses it. He had a win there. He missed it. Or not a win. He had 94 and it was a dead draw. Now I have this to hit the rook. Kind of a mistake. Not a huge mistake, but now the game gets gets messy. Let's go here. I'm going to go bishop a3, target the knight. He gets a pawn back, but it's only even material here. So I suspect that I should be fine with bishop c7 next move. Let's see, six. Okay, logical move. I can go bishop b7 here. So I want to go here and target the pawns. It's a good move. Um, actually, I have e4 here. I 
think a4 is the right move let's go here his pawns are very weak oh but he's got e4 which I forgot about as well He goes to h6. I think I'm willing to give this pawn up here because the bishop gets in very fast. Okay, I have king a4. I'm just gonna take next move. Okay, now I go here, and now it should be Zugzvang because this should be winning, I think, because the king just marches over and I eat the pawn. Check and now we win. Yeah, now it's just wins. Okay, another good win. Eight up, eight down. So far, so good. Thank you to the fungus among us for the five months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, now we're gonna play homeless Steven again in this in in uh, in Arena Kings. Let's go a six here. No draw. Yeah, I mean it was a draw with correct play, obviously, but. Let's go here in d6. 97, 97, of course. I haven't played Among Us in a long time. It's been it's been a very long time since I played Among Us. I don't really know what Bishop G5 does. It feels like it wastes the tempo somehow. I think I'll do this in h6 g5 if he provokes me. You're a grandmaster, right? Yeah, I am a grandmaster. Surprisingly. Oh, let's go here. Maybe C5, maybe B5, maybe D5. I don't really know what my opponent's playing for exactly. Um, Knight F6 was also a move. I don't know. Let him win so he can buy a house. <laughs> He's actually doing well this game, though. How do I do this? I guess I'll go here. Don't like my position at all. My queen on c8 is very misplaced. It should be on d8 here. Which g4. Now I assume I smash the center with e5 because maximum pressure. Also, multiple diagonals. Should be good for me. I think I'm just going to trade it all down and go here. Target the juicer. Play queen e6 and castle probably. Maybe even rook g8. Thank you to SNR6 for the Prime. Thank you so much, SNR6. Appreciate it. Thank you to Madang for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Target the Pawn. I'm going to castle at some point, but not yet. Knight D5 looks like a dubious move. Because I think I can grip the Dark Squares and play like King F8. I'm just going to play Rook G5, King F8, G8 at some point. Thank you to Basse for the prime. Thank you so much to Basse. Okay, let's go here. Lock this. Step two, lock this. And then I move the king and bring the rook in. This is my idea, at least. Let's bring the king over. Rook e8 at some moment, maybe. can obviously trade if I want to. I, I should. Let's go here. Target the pawn. Bring the rook into the game. Should be winning for me with correct play. I think this wins because I have knight of three. There's no rook f1 because I have the fork. Okay, I go here, guard the pawn. She's got rook g1 though, which is a good move, which I kind of forgot about. Um, so I'll go here, I guess. I go here, rook g7 is my idea. Trying to hold this file. And rook g7, knight g... Wait, take six, rook g7. Wait, I think this is okay. Because I just take and come back. 
I've seen GME and AMC today. Yeah, I mean, oh, AMC is down at 50. Yeah, I mean, AMC is going to come off that, but who knows what's going to happen long term. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Maybe Rook G1's a threat. I should be better here somehow. Okay, I have Knight of... Ooh, Knight, ooh, Knight of 3 is a huge mistake. Yikes, I almost did that. Okay, let's go here. Probably Queen G7, Queen F7. Let's go here. Mm, that's a free queen. All right, let's go e4. Okay, we're playing God of Kamsky now in the 10th game. Let's go here and here. So let's play knight f3. Let's do something different. Let's go here. Okay, so he's going to play the hippopotamus. I'm going to try to chip the structure immediately here. I guess he has c6. Hmm. I can play e5. Actually, I think I'm just going to play e5 here. If he takes, I just take and I have bishop e4. I guess I'll go here, knight e4 next move. He's got big structural problems too. Take with the pawn or not. I think I do because I have knight e4 and knight c5. Takes, takes, takes. I have the double attack. If not, I get this or this or that. Now, bishop g5 is probably very strong here. Knight e5 takes six, knight c5. I mean, this looks terrible for black. Takes, takes, takes. I even have knight f6. H6 is a good move, though. Actually, why did I allow H6? I don't really want to take... I don't want to go bishop f4. I guess I'll go here. I don't really want to do this, but... I figure I must have some way to win here if he goes g5. Just instinctively. Tr trusting that instinctively I have something that's winning, but I'm not actually sure. Go c5. Logical move. I thought I had knight f6 here. Can also just castle. Actually, I'm just gonna castle here. What's the big deal? So he's gonna have to go c4, bishop c2. It's not ideal, but I think I'm fine. Thank you to Adam Helmet for the 10 months. Thanks so much to Adam Helmet. I do have knight d6. No, I don't. Okay, let's go back. D1 maybe has a problem here. I misplayed this quite severely. This will go here it's queen e7 which again i feel like knight d6 is begging to be played I can obviously trade and take and go here wait a second knight takes e5 is a problem wait there should be something here maybe i just trade b5 Go here. Okay, let's take and take. Because I have knight b5 here at the end. Oh, but well, then he's got queen b7. And I have knight d4. Wait, I have knight d4 maybe? He can't take to so the fossil. If I get this or f4 and I'm probably fine. I'm not winning, but I'm also not really much worse either. Um... Doesn't look right somehow. Do I have f4 maybe? f4 knight c6? I'll just go here. Bishop e4 is an idea. f4 is an idea. f4 takes six knight c6. Let's just go for it. I don't know if it's good, but let's go for it. Uh, oh, wait. He's knight d3, which I didn't even see. Now, I just, now it's just a draw. Unless I can sack somehow. No, I just blunder this. Hmm. Okay, I mean... I can play b4, but takes, takes. Nah, I guess I just make the draw. Uh, let's try something, maybe. Actually, I don't know why I did that. He's got e5. Wait, but now I go here? Wait, e4 is a mistake. I have not played Hans yet. No, I have not played Hans. Um, I 
Uh, Hans lost. Yeah, he. I guess he lost. Yeah, I mean, we're going to play tough games. Like, we're not going to just win every game. Goes e3. Interesting. So, I guess I take with the queen or the... I'll take with the... Um... Take with the queen. I'm going to try to get cheeky here and play for more than just a draw. Actually, why did I... Oh, what was that? That was actually very stupid of me, too. How do I do... Actually, I've got no good squares. Oh, uh, what? Wait, wait, what? He offered a draw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next game. Let's go here. Let's play knight f3. I guess bishop b5 here. Yeah. Well, no, but the thing is, he offered a draw, and this is what I've said before. It's like, if someone offers a draw in that split second, you make a move or something, then and when someone offers a draw in the next move, you just, I mean, it's an auto draw for both sides. That's just, it's just an auto thing you do. Okay, I'm going to take and play d3. This is not the main thing. Yeah, God is still very strong. I mean, he's still very, very strong. I probably was winning somewhere out of the opening, but I, I definitely missed something there. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we don't need to go there, you guys, but, I mean, everybody knows what I'm referring to when I say that. So, yeah. God is still strong. Yes, God is still very strong. Can knight be 6 I can trade? I can also go knight e3. Hmm. Let me think. Wait, why am I? I'm suddenly thinking way too long here. Um, okay, Let's just go here. He goes g6, so I'll take. I'll play f4 and take. Would you say you're the strongest player from NY since the 2000s? Um, I mean, uh, I mean, it depends if you if you, if you say Fabiano's from New York or not, because Fabiano spent much of um, much of his later childhood abroad in Europe. So it really depends how you how you judge that. Do you, do you judge? I mean, do you consider Fabiano from New York or not? Because if you don't consider him from New York. I mean, then yes, obviously. I mean, the only other player from New York who's better than me historically would be Bobby Bobby Fisher. Um, I have knight g4 maybe. No, but now he can take. Stupid me. Let's go here. Let's go here and target the juicer on a5. Okay, can go here, but I think I'm just going to slowly bring everything over and mass my forces on this side of the board. Okay, I can probably take, I can also go, actually, knight g4 looks very strong with bishop h6, or knight h6 even. This looks very bad for black. I also have bishop h6, I just realized. I think I'll do it, because queen g6 I can just take and take. Should be good. It's queen f7. Actually, wait, no, but I just take. So if he takes, I take with check. And if he takes, I have this, and it's good. Although, actually, this is not clean. It's not clean at all. Oh, he misses it. Okay, now I go here, and now I just win the game. Let's just take with a pawn. Queen g4. Um, Actually, queen e3 looks fine. I'm just going to go one, two, three. Let's go here, target the pawn. Let's take. He can't take with that. If I get rook g4, uh, um, that's actually tricky. Okay, let's go here. Hmm. So let's go here. Stop the knight jump. Let's come back. Knight h2 next move. Guess I'll come here. Maybe g4. Just open this up. Knight g4 should be pretty good for me. Still very tricky. I've really misplayed this game. Take and go check. 
So I have this. I have H6, H7, I guess. So I, it's actually very tricky. King H4. It's actually very, very tricky. So check and take. Actually, the thing, though, is there is no... Um, there's no actual checkmate here. So this king looks really good. But there's no actual checkmate. So how do I do this? Try to bring my king in. And now I should just be winning. Now, now I get the end game I want. Knight d7. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. Wait. Check. There we go. Go here. Wait. Is this winning? This should be winning, right? Oh, he blundered. Wait, he just blundered. Let's go here. Let's go here. Now I just win. That was bad. That should have been a draw. <gasps> and it was a draw. Oh, my gosh. Let's go here. Uh, okay, let's not tilt, though. I Actually, it's, it's pretty early still, so it's important not to tilt. Um... Wow, that was bad. I had so much time. Thank you to Captain Cackbone for the prime. Captain Cackbone, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate it. Let's go here. Oh, that was so bad. That was destined to be a draw, yeah. I guess. Let's go here. Let's go here. Yeah, important that I don't tilt after that game. Very important. Um, let's go here. Maybe a five. Do I take with the bishop or the pawn is also a question here. My instinct says I take with the bishop and play f5. But we'll see. I take. I drop back and just play rookie one. Keep this very simple. Bordnik is tricky. I mean, Bordnik's a very strong player. Um, I assume rookie one's got to be right. And I assume queen g4 is the move. But I actually kind of like going this way. Eh, knight b6. Let's go this way. I don't know if it's right, but it makes some sense. Okay, and I guess I just play Rook AD1 here. I guess he's got Knight C5, but I can still take and play F5 maybe? F5, Bishop E5. Oh, wait, no, I can take this. Wait, this this hangs because this hangs on E8. Why would you tilt for an Arena Kings game? It's not a, Well, it's not so much about straight tilting, but it's just like... It's very easy to tilt, and suddenly, like, right now, I'm in 11th out of nowhere. Like, I'm sure that I'm top 16 technically, but you don't really know the exact standing. So it's very easy to kind of lose it a little bit. Yeah, I made a stalemate. That's what happened. Wait, takes... What does Bornick have here that I miss? I'm going to run to the restroom in a second, you guys, as well. So um, I'll probably take a short break. Okay, this should be seven. Just take. I can, play G I can just play F5, probably. G3 looks pretty safe, too. Let's go here, target the pawn. I mean, this should just be pretty... I'm going to go C4. I don't know if it's the right move, but it makes a lot of sense. Let's go, like, here. I have Queen D5, but I don't think it's right. I can even just go, like, B3, I guess. <gasps> oh, my God. I just blunder... <sighs> Jeez. What am I doing? I didn't even see D3 as a move. <sighs> Jeez. I mean, that's insane. I think I'm still drawing, but that's just insane of me. 
Okay, I think I'll just go here. I mean, G4 should be fine. He goes d6. So I can play f5 and takes. Uh, let's think for a second. I also have bishop g3 as a move. So takes, takes f5. King e7 or king d7, f6. Should be a draw still, but... I'm not going f5 here. Bishop g3 is option one. Okay, okay, why am I, I just got to move, what am I doing? Okay, it goes king d7. Let's play h4. Should be a draw here. I'm definitely not trying to win, though. Oh, well, maybe if I get king f2, I can. But now I'm going to get cheeky with b4. So queen a4. I think I'm going to be able to flag him, actually. Maybe not, actually. What did I just do? Am I losing this? Wait, no, I have check and takes. <sighs> or not. Just a draw. Yeah, it's just a draw. Alright, I have to run to the restroom, you guys. I'll be right back. Right, let's try to win some games quickly, get back, get back in the running. There are a lot of people who suddenly have more points than me. I've got what 36, so it's not so bad. Oh, let's go here and play this like I normally would. Takes. Can I actually take and go knight five? Maybe castle knight g5 here? I thought this was just winning because I have check and mate. <laughs> okay, let's take the pawn. Maybe I take with the bishop. Or actually, I just take with the queen. Okay, we got the quick win. Let's keep going. Um, up to 38 points, I think. So we're, 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 that's a very good quick win. So we're going to play Meyer, which is kind of annoying. I'll go d6, knight, d7. I actually don't normally play this system, so it's kind of a little bit dubious. He's going to play like knight e1. Very, very slow system, I believe. It's bishop f4. Interesting move. I can actually take the pawn. I can also just play e5, maybe a knight g4. It's kind of interesting. Just castle. I have knight g4. I thought I had knight g4 here. Knight d5 just takes. I couldn't take the pawn because then he takes here. Okay, take. Let's go here. Oh, I should. Wait, no, knight c5 hung a piece. What am I doing? He has rook c6, maybe. Could be a little bit unpleasant. Although, if I get the knight to c5, maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, rook c6, I kind of expected that. I guess I'll go... I'm going to try to mess this up a little bit with knight c5. Just to obfuscate matters here. Obfuscate, sorry. Um, what's going on? We'll see. 
I'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move. Favorite ice cream? Um, I haven't had ice cream in a long time, but yeah. Okay, plays bishop h3. I can obviously trade. I can also play like h5 or f. I also have knight e4. I think I'm going to play h5 and just take like this, though. Uh, thank you to Chatelaz for the prime. Thank you, Chatelaz, for the prime. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Will next year's championship be over the board? Probably. Probably, but no, no guarantees either way. Oh, he does go B. Wait, I thought I... Oh, I don't have 94 here. Got queen c2. And I don't have this in-between move. Oh, this could be actually quite bad. But whatever, we keep going. I've got to move fast. He's low on time, so it's not it's not the end of the world. I don't think that does anything. I just play f6. Might go f5 here. Yeah, I think I will go f5, knight f6 now. here and force a trade I can play knight f6 here I can also just move the queen back though again I'll just move the queen back let's go here try to force some more trades there's a pawn hanging um somewhere let's go here oh wait knight f2 there knight f2 is just winning he misses it Wait, knight of two takes, takes. It's going to get kind of wild. I'm going to, um, yeah, let's go for it. Wait, check or something? Okay, let's go E4, try to open up the position. F4, I also have E3 here, maybe. I go e3 or not as a question i also have f4 i think i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go h4 next move he's gonna have to go e3 i think let's go here queen h2 bishop e5 queen f3 uh, do i have f4 here maybe but i think this is also so many options here very very tricky let's go f4 let's try to really confuse the matter Wait, that looks insane. Wait, I've checked and bishop d4 or c3. Let's go check. Okay, goes king there. Okay, now we just won the game. Next game. So sick. Love the background. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's play e4, knight, c3. One more win and we're back. We're back in it. We're back in it. Okay, let's do this one. I guess we'll go f4 here, maybe. I think I'll trade some bishops. I don't have to, but it seems pretty reasonable. I'll probably go queen b6 and trade some queens is my guess. Okay, I think I'll go here to cut it off. Let's go a4. I mean, he gets knight b4, but I get knight b5. So there's some drawbacks. His bishop is also kind of bad on d7 long term. I think I'm going to go... How do I do this, actually? Maybe knight a2, just to trade some knights. He goes back. So I'll go here. I'll play rook c1. Position looks pretty decent for me. I wouldn't say it's great. I don't want to be all Bobby Fischer to g6 there. Okay, I can play knight c3 back, but I think... Wait, rook c5 hangs something. Let's go here. Just go here.
Go we'll play H4, maybe H5, maybe G5, maybe F5, depending. With Bishop E8, logical move. I think I should just play H5 and fix the weaknesses here. Okay, he wants to do this. And trade. I think I should just trade it all down. This should be a winning end game objectively because of the pawn structure here. This, I've got more space, so I feel like I should be winning this somehow. Not f5 yet. Maybe just g5. Because I can rotate the pony also. Like, just take and go here. Knight g4 is coming. Should be winning. I can go king e3. Ah, he wants knight b4. Logical. How fast? Oh, wait, no, I've got check first. And this just wins. Knight g4 now. And knight holds, and now he doesn't have time to do anything. Okay, let's see. I can take, I guess. I think I have h6, h7. This should be winning. I mean, I'm not quite sure how, but I know it's got to be winning. Okay, let's go here and here, actually. This looks very clean, because now this pawn is too fast. This B pawn is so fast here that I think it's just GG's. Let's go here take the pawn, of course. Let's go here. I don't see how his knight's getting back. I think I just go, like, here and... Doesn't even matter, I just run the pawn. Thank you to a Desk Crate for the two. Thank you to Kovalens for the six months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Raid incoming? Okay. Let's play E4 and IC3. Thank you to Botez Live for the raid with 5,688 people. Thank you so much to Alexandra. I think it's Alexandra, but thank you to the Botez sisters. Uh, thank you for the raid, whether it's Alexandra, whether it's Andrea. Thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing well. Florida raid? Oh, were they were they doing IRL in Florida? Hmm. Let's play C3 and F4, Knight F3. Play F4. Could have played Knight D6 there. It's probably better, but hmm, we'll see. Oh, they're in Miami? Okay. Um, anyway, we're playing in Arena Kings right now, you guys, in case you're wondering. We're playing chess. Um, live from California. So we're playing from California. Let's play I have three. They were hustling. Where were they? Where were they in Miami? I mean, I haven't been out there in a while, but uh, where, where were they? Where were they playing in Miami? Let's go back. This is chess? Yeah. Wow, chess. Yes, exactly. Let's go here. Domino Park. Oh, they were in Little Havana? Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's play Rook C1 here. Maybe Knight G5 next move. Maybe, maybe I'll just play an end game. It's not actually all that exciting for me. Playing against people randomly for money. Ah, okay. Yeah, but the thing with doing that in, in um doing that in in Miami, however, is that's kind of dangerous because you could accidentally run into like a Cuban 2400 out of nowhere who's very strong. But I mean, there's no guarantee. But there there are some very strong Cuban players locally there. Uh, but I guess probably not many that you wouldn't know of, perhaps. I thought it was Monopoly. Thanks for clarifying. No problem. <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, let's just go here and maybe F5 next move. I really like my position. It's very, very cleanly better. We're, get, we're getting, again, the smiley f formation here with these four pawns. I don't know what that does exactly. He wants queen a2 or something. I'll just go here. I mean, he's, what, bishop f1 or something weird? Doesn't really do much, so I just go queen d2. If I get the smiley formation with the four pawns um, against his smiley formation, he's got the same smiley, then I think I'm doing well. Okay, bishop e2 is a good move. I didn't see that. Yikes. Probably have to find some way to cheese him now. I miss bishop. Bishop e2 is a good move. I'm going to have to cheese him. Let's keep moving fast. Okay, how do I do this? I'm gonna go here, try to win this end game. Anyway, yeah, we're playing in Arena Kings first prize, five hundred dollars. So, fun tournament. Uh, excuse me. That was a free night. Very weird. 
Very weird. Maybe it's Watt for the Prime thing. So much appreciate it. Very, very weird. So we're up to 49. So we're almost, we're almost in the lead. I think one more game and we're... We're uh, one more win and we're in uh, clear second place, I think. He didn't respect the smiley formation? Yeah, let's take the pawn. Um, takes that way. I mean, I think I'll just pin the knight. I mean, makes sense. Let's take. I can play queen f5 here if I want to. I don't know if it's right, but it looks aggressively aggressive. So I can also castle into everything here. Thank you to Viral Wizkit for the uh, 10 months. Thank you so much to Viral Wizkit. Okay, I'm going to definitely castle and just go e5 here. Just attack all in. Um, do you get easier points if you're higher, like the first you play 16th? Potentially. Thank you, Neverending Soda, for the two. Potentially is the key word there. Let's play e5 and blunder d5. But I can 97 maybe. This looks kind of bad, but we'll see. Thank you to Jack Loopy for the five months. Best shots can be on Twitch. Big props. Big props. Uh, boss, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Do you still study as much since, since I started streaming? I've actually been studying quite a bit lately. Um, oh, I thought he would do the... Oh. But still, I take? Wait, what's he doing? No, I mean, does he have a draw with queen a7? It's just a draw. Oh, wait, no, it's not a draw. He's got knight c4. Oh, my gosh. Why did I just blitz that out? <sighs> Very poor by me. Yeah, he's just got this. I'm actually just lost here. What do I have? I have three pieces for it. So let's tr let's try to somehow salvage it. I'm almost certain that I can't. But he he always has a draw here. But I don't care. A draw is not the end of the world. Okay, let's go here. Maybe I can just play like f5. I'm trying to find some way to complicate this. Let's go here maybe. A4. Okay. The question is, can I somehow run my? Oh, I can actually sack maybe. Wait, if I sack, what's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna sack. I'm gonna. Oh, he's just got rook h4. Oh no, what am I doing? He just got rook h4. Oh my gosh, just threw so hard. He does this, which is also winning. But I mean, let's see. This is still winning, but it's not as simple. Let's go here. I'm trying to get my pieces in, maybe. This is still probably winning for white, but it's actually a little bit tricky now to win. Maybe it's not even winning, because now I'm going to get f4, 93. He's kind of misplayed this rather severely. Okay, I think he's trying to get his rook in, so I'm going to take the, take the file, no entry. As long as I block it with the two bishops, I can probably start pushing my pawn down even. What's this threat? No threat. I have bishop g2. Actually, wait. I have to be very careful how I play this. I might not... I want to win this somehow. So, I, let's see. Is there some way that I can mate him with the knight and the bishops is what I'm trying to figure out. Let's go here. Got what, rook h1? Okay, it goes rook a1. I'm trying to find some way to mate him with the bishops. But it just doesn't exist. What do I do here? Hmm. So I have to go back and play knight f4. So I have check and takes.
Sure, let's go here and hit the rook. Because now I have... Ch I have four, maybe it almost works. F4, F3, rook A5. Okay, let's... Let's go... Wait, C5 has got rook B5. I can't take. Let's go check. Can I take? It looks very sketchy. Okay, let's go here, hit the rook. Let's go check. Go, wait, there should be some way that I can. Okay, now I'm gonna run the pawn. Wait, I have. Wait, I go here? Um, let's go here. No, I take it, now I'm going to win. Here we go. Let's keep going. We got the win, up to 53. My cam looks very good. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Back to 53. Terrible game, but I get the dub somehow. Don't ask me how I won that game. Let's go here in E5, of course. Take. Let's go D5. Force a trade in the center. How did I win that game? Don't ask me how I won that game. You won that because you're a genius, I guess. I mean, I shouldn't have won that game, but I did. So we take the dubs where we can get them. Bishop B5. That's a strange move. I'm just going to go H6. I guess he can take. Maybe I should go on Queen D5 first. Do I don't have a new camera. No, it's the same camera. It's probably just better lighting here. That's my only guess. I mean, I don't know what else it really could be. I guess I'll just go here in 95, maybe. Yeah, I'm still with TSM, you guys. Why wouldn't I be with TSM? I mean, don't don't streamers usually sign like long-term contracts with the orgs or not? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm long gone in AMC, you guys. Long gone at this point. Uh, but I am looking at some something to do on the short side now because it's definitely not where it should be. Um, I'm going to go here, hit the bishop. Maybe knight d5 and b6 maybe. Okay, I guess I'll just... I have g5 here now. I think I'm just going to go right after the bishop though. It makes sense. Well, I buy puts at some point probably. I just have to find the strategy. I need like one day. I, I feel like what I need is I need one day where there's no volatility. I, I need a day where the vol there's an IV crush, and then then I can look for the play. But if there's no IV crush, it's very very hard, very very hard. All bears die. If you straight short, that's correct. Um, if you sh if you short via puts, it's not quite the same thing. Let's go here in rookie eight. I'm not top five. Who's no? I'm number four right now. But I'll be, I'll be, um, I'll be in top five after this game again. Okay, I don't like H four now. H five, and I should be much better. Oh, Hans, yeah. Why is volatility so high? Um, I mean, because things are moving crazily based on what, based on, based on what's going on. But you know who's making a killing today, actually, are the um, the high frequency trader trading firms. They're probably killing it on AMC today because they just they keep like the the bid the bid ass just keeps getting moved around, and they're just they're probably just crushing it. They're probably making a lot of money on, money on it today. Let's go bishop four knight of four. The high frequency trading firms that make the markets, I mean, they're probably just they're just destroying it on um uh, today on AMC for sure. I don't know why I allowed this. I'm way up on the clock though against this guy, so okay, goes there. So I'll go here.
but it's not a short squeeze. That's the thing. There's not there's not that much short interest. You guys who are saying it's a short squeeze don't understand what, what a short squeeze is. Because there's not there's not enough there's not not enough percentage short for it to be. It's not the same as GME. Um, let's go here and hit the bishop on d5. Can play bishop e6 and knight b5 maybe. Because when I, when I saw the short float, it was not. Um, it was not anywhere near what GME is. So it, I mean, I guess it could be a short squeeze, but it doesn't really jive. I mean, it, it doesn't. It doesn't look like a short squeeze to me. Let's go here. I guess I'll go back next to maybe a five. Yeah, GME had over hundred percent short. Like AMC, is, I thought. I thought AMC was like ten. Per, I mean, maybe it was ten to twenty percent at some point, but I, I don't recall it being overly, overly out of this world. I guess I'll go queen c five next move, or maybe no. I should keep pieces on the board. My opponent doesn't have any time, so. Let's go here. Oh, he has this. Okay, I'll go back. I could have played queen c4 too, I guess. Let's go here, try to trade. Okay, I'll go here, I guess. Okay, now we're up to 57. We're basically now now we're really in the red zone. Should qualify here. 35 minutes left. Um, I mean, both guys ahead of me currently are not on a streak. So if I win this game, I'm guaranteed to be top 16. And then we just have 30 minutes of garbage time till the till the knockout. Basically, let's go here. I don't own GME, no. I did own AMC. I don't own AMC anymore. So I can talk to chat for 35 minutes? Pretty much, I think. I mean, I don't really see much changing. This is the, this is my issue with um this is my issue with uh with Arena Kings at being top 16 because if you, if you if you play well at the start, you end up at, you end up in a point um I mean, you end up in a point where it's like uh you end up in a point where it's just like you're just killing time until the until the knockout, and that's kind of how it feels right now. Okay, I go here, kick the knight, take the juicer. Then lose the game to make it exciting? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can just take, because I have rookie seven. And now I'm just, should just be winning. Hmm. I guess I go this way to hold this off. Knight of five, I guess. Okay, now I'm just up a pawn and much better. Just rook d8. Let's go here. Knight g7. Knight e6. Just up a clean pawn. Well on our way to victory. Let's go here. Actually, I just gave knight g5. What am I what am I doing? I guess I'll go here. Go here. I mean, it can take, obviously. Okay, I'll take, take. This is definitely winning if I play this correctly. I just have to be very careful how I play it. Or it should be winning. It's actually not guaranteed. Actually, wait, I can go here and hit the base of the chain. Very important, because now the whole chain falls one after the other. Okay, eat this one. Eat this one. It's gonna go a4 I think I think this is a little bit too slow though because my pawn is very fast here this pawn is just too fast I think going down the board he also can't come here because the bishop covers 
Yeah, I can play G3, H3, Knight. I mean, I think this just wins. So I have King G7, and the Rook gets stuck. And now I just take, and that's game over. Okay, Knight B4 wins. I think I'll just use the Pawn, though. Oh, wait, what did I... Wait, actually, wait, this still wins, but oh, man. I almost just threw that. Yikes. I let that get a little bit too close for comfort. A little bit too close for comfort, but we got the win anyway. Okay, let's play D4. Let's play the, t let's play the trash variation of the French. Um, this is a trash variation with knight d2, knight takes e4. I'll just take a knight f3 here. Okay, I'll go here. My variation? Yeah, yeah, this is a trash variation in the uh, in the French. Let's go here, rook d1, take the juicer. Super trash recommended by Eric Rosen. Yeah, I'm making a joke. Obviously, it's, I mean, completely playable. Let's go here in 84. I think I'll just take and take. Who beat me several times? Blitzstream? I mean, Blitzstream is very, very good. He actually, he, just, he doesn't play over the board chess at all anymore, um, which is kind of sad. Okay, let's go here. Let's go Rook D1. Quick development. Very, very good position. Let's just go here. Double stack it. I'm going to go here and pressure. I think Knight E5 looks very good. I have Knight D7, Rook D7. A lot of pressure here. Please flag. No, I'm not going to flag. Thank you to Blitzer for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Blitzer. Appreciate it. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Blitzer. Thank you. I don't play either. What do you mean? Oh, you're saying I don't play over the board chess? No, of course I do. But um, we'll see when I, when I even play again. It's been eons. It's been eons upon eons. Um, hmm. Should be a tactic here that I'm missing. I'll go here. I want to win with style, so I'm going to just drop back. Should be good. Not easy to play, but should be good. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, now I just take. And now I think I go here and here. There must be a mate. Wait a second. Bishop f4, queen c6. Wait, is there not checkmate? Wait, is there not a checkmate here? Wait a second. I, actually, I think I should just go here, maybe. You can't take. I'm threatening to take with the check. Should be winning. Should be winning, yeah. It should be winning. Thank you to Poga for the prime. Wesley said he was um, said he was excited for OTB after 17 months. Yeah, I mean, I think for sure. To some degree, it's true, obviously. I mean, it's been forever since I played over the board as well. Um, I mean, it'll come back, I think, but I'm guessing not before, not before the end of uh, end of this year. I think early next year everything will be back to normal, pretty much. That's my guess. But now I just take with check because the rook hits the king, queen guards the bishop. I've check. I want to find a checkmate here. Is there a checkmate or not? I guess I'll just go check, check. Check and mate. Yeah, that should be force mate. Okay. Thank you to Fire Breathing Dragon for the prime. Let's keep going. Probably bishop b7, maybe d6 next move. 
standard, very standard so far. Okay, so pretty much I think I think I'm guaranteed to be him based on the breakdown, but so I just kind of chill and take it easy here and until we, until we play the knockout portion. Cuz I'm definitely going to finish in the top 16, so it's just coasting to the end. I love your autopilot checkmates. Let's go here. Oh, I G4 there. Uh, that's a blunder, I think, of G4. Oh, we can take, though. Wait. I'm going to take this one, take this this way. I mean, I might, I'll probably win this portion, undoubtedly. Um, but it's. But this portion doesn't matter. That's the thing. There's no there's no extra prize money or anything. So it's kind of just like you get to the top 16 and then you like you deal with it kind of. So it's, it's pretty, pretty dry 30 minutes. When over the board returns to online turns still happen with top players. Absolutely. I think um, already I believe Chess 24, maybe they haven't said it publicly, but Chess 24 is going to be holding this an online tour next year as well. So um, there are definitely going to be more tournaments online. Um, I'm going to take I have this this idea now. So, yes, and also, I mean, the other thing you have to keep in mind is that, um, I think I can go here, maybe, is this idea. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is, as well is that, um, is that separately, uh, you have to remember Chess24 is a publicly traded company, so what is good for, um, you know, what people perceive to be good for over-the-board chess is not necessarily in the best interest of Chess24 as, as a publicly traded company. So their, 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 their goals and what they're aiming for, is de it's definitely different than like what FIDE, for example, wants to happen. So um, that's, that's what I would say, which is very important to keep in mind. Play H4, H3. Yeah, Chess24 is publicly traded on the Norwegian Stock Exchange. Can play Bishop... E5, maybe? I'm going to go here. Try to trade some juicers. If F4, I just take. Actually, why did I do this? This makes no sense. thought I had H2 or something, but I don't. Let's just go here and here. Is trade as play Magnus Group? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Is where you're streaming from like a WeWork situation? No, I'm at TSM. I'm at Team Solo Mid HQ. Uh, this is an esports organization. Um, they have a couple of streamer rooms here. I think I'm the only person, uh, only person actually who streamed from here as a streamer, which is kind of funny, but yeah. Yeah, it's not WeWork. Oops. Up to 69. Very nice. Short WeWork. I think WeWork is actually, um, WeWork is, uh, aren't they doing, aren't they going public through a SPAC or something? Maybe I'm crazy, but I think they're going public through a SPAC, if I'm not mistaken. You with Myth and the others? I saw Myth yesterday. I didn't really talk to him much, but yeah. Why do I like to stream from HQ? Because it gives it a more... Um, let's go here, I guess. It gives it a more like... I, I don't know what the word is. More like... Um, it feels more like, you know, a proper job. I guess that's the easiest way of explaining it. I'm going to play H3. I know this is not the right move, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's go here. Play Magnus stock is down 36%. Really? 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 Let me see. What? It, what is the price listed as? There's, there's, um, what's, what's the current price in the, the, the local currency? Let's go B5. Just open this up. It's not though. It, it is or it's not. Okay. Let's take, go here in rook A1. 2120 and okay. No, no, no. 2120. No, then it's definitely up. Cause I think it IPO'd at like 15. It was like 15. Maybe actually, no, was it 15? It might have been 20 when it, where it IPO'd, but it's definitely not down 36%. Um, I can take the pawn. I can also just keep attacking. I can also take the pawn. Um, but um, but um, but um. I mean, it's just a free juice, so I might as well take it. Okay, I guess I'll just go back. Why not?
AMC AMC is at 62. It's not at 117 percent. Um, let's take and trade, I guess. Just go. I mean, rookie ones. I mean, everything is winning here, kind of. Let's go here. Actually, I'm moving too slowly. I just realized. Actually, how winning is this? Let's go here. Kind of misplaying this. I'm just drifting a little bit in this game. I'm going to go here in rookie eight now. If takes, I just swap. Okay, but this is just a blunder. I check and eat the juicer, and then I eat everything. It's a catastrophe for black. Okay, let's keep going. So we're definitely top 16, so probably I'm just going to take it very chill, very slow through the final final 22 minutes as we, as we, as we wind it down. Let's go E4. Let's go D3. Someone please flag Mr. Hikaru. Kind of hard to flag when you move fast every game. I don't think I've, I actually, you know what? I haven't even played Hans yet, which is kind of insane. Yeah, like Hans is like the number three seed in this tournament. I haven't even played him at all, which is kind of insane. It's just really nuts. What is the bet? Is there a bet? I don't, I don't know. Is there a bet? Maybe there's a bet. I'm not sure. Okay, let's just take. So let's take. Uh, obviously, I should castle and go like rook f1. Actually, let's go g4, g5. Just attack right away. Yeah, I thought b5 could be a problem here. Should have played c3 first. It's a little bit dangerous, but I'm going to grab. Maybe more than a little dangerous, but I think I can survive this. Am I going to watch the Euros? What do you mean Euros? Watch the Euros? What does watch the Euros mean? Drop back. Let's go A4. I had Knight C3 as well, but I think A4 is good enough. And I'm just going to I'm just going to start attacking on this side of the board too. Oh, football? No, I mean, no. Go here, maybe knight d5. Go c6. That's a good move. Um, what exactly did I do that for? Wait, let's go here, hit the knight. I'm probably gonna go rook f1. Although now I just blunder bishop e3. I shouldn't have said that either. Let's move my king. Goes bishop d6. Um, logical move. Can't take f7. Where's my attack? Actually, I don't have an attack here. Let's go here. Because now f7 is under. Or wait, no, it's not. Let's go here. Let's take. Now, now he has too many pawns under attack, so I should be winning. Go here and take, I guess. Hey, Heliotrinus for the 15 months. Thank you so much to Heliotrinus. Appreciate it. Let's just uh, take. Rook is just stuck here on the edge.
Uh, okay, let's play the birds. Let's do something different. Uh, actually, no. Let's turn this back into a um, into a king's gambit. I think you're already first place guaranteed. Maybe. I mean, I, I don't know. Possibly. Okay, why is Kozak so deep in the tank here? Yeah, why is he not moving? I'm almost the same age as Forsen. That's insane. Why is that? Which In which way is that insane? That I'm almost the same age as Forsen. Yeah, I don't. What, what, in what way? I, I like. I don't understand. Okay, let's take the pawn. Forsen looks older. To be, let's be honest. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, okay, let's just take. Very very pleasant position. Bishop g five, knight d five. Probably that you look younger but act more mature. Okay. Wait, I didn't know that Forsen was 47. Forsen is not 47, you guys. <laughs> okay, let's just take. Big blunder by my man. Jeez. Oh, uh, dear. Let's just take the knight here. Uh, this is just game over. What is my man doing? How many games? So I have three draws. That's all. I've, I haven't lost a game. Three draws. Minecraft Asian 15 years. I'm not being disrespectful. My chat is the one saying it's Force and 47. That's not me, you guys. Um, Force is 30. That's not surprising. I mean, Force has been around for a long time, right? It's like 10 years. He's been streaming since the early days, I think. Like, if you've been streaming that long, you, you can't be super young. I mean, maybe Pokemon's the only one because she started so young. She was like 17. But most of the other big streamers are like, they're 30 ish, aren't they, for the most part? Um, let's go here. Um, like Summit, Summit, Forsen. Um, I mean, XQC is pretty young, but he hasn't, XQC hasn't been around for that long, has he? I'm a little bit bored right now. I'm not going to lie. This, 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 this is a little bit boring. Shroud is like 28, right? NMP is not 39. He's 30. I, I know how old he is. Miskiv is also pushing towards 32, right? Isn't Miskiv like 29 or something as well? Like, I just mean, like, if you've been around that long, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's what it is. F5 is a good move. Um, let's just cast. Oh, I just blundered knight g4. Miskiv, I mean, because Miskiv started what? He started during the Ice God days, right? During the during the Ice God days, if I'm not mistaken. So he's he's I mean he's been around a while. Um so I guess knight e3, queen e3 is fine. Okay, he goes queen h4. I'll play h3, queen e3 here. Um <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um Let's go rook d1, maybe bishop c4. I really like my position here. Uh, I'm going to go here on bishop d5, I guess. I guess let's just go here. Close it up. Rook takes d5. Hans is playing. Yeah, Hans is playing. He's on 64. He's going to qualify as well. I mean, at this point, it's pretty set uh, in terms of the field. We have a pretty good idea of what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to go f5 here. Is Ben Feingold the oldest guy on Twitch? That's actually a good question. He might be. I mean, in terms of like a regular streamer, I want Ben might be actually in terms of like a regular full time streamer. He could be maybe not, probably not, but he could be. Oh, not by a long shot. Oh, who's um, who's older? RS Glory and Gold. Okay. Wait, RS Glory and Gold is like an 80 year old runes. Wait, what? 
Thank you to Aden Degenerate 8 for the for the tier three gifted. Thank you to Mr. Matt as well for the uh, three months. I'm gonna go here in 95. Wait, are you serious? He's 80 years old. That's impressive. That's that's impressive. Impressive. Wow. Oh, that's a free rook. That face? Yeah, I mean, I'm just massively impressed by that. That's like... That's hardcore. Only 50 more years and you can take that title? 50 years of streaming from now? Will I be at TSM at age 70 or so? Who knows? Thank you to <laughs> ZK Snarks with Prime. That'd be pretty insane. Okay, let's... Okay, let's let's play the bond cloud. Let's finish this in style. Okay, he plays f six. I think a c three is a good move here. Team senior mids, yeah. Oh, uh, well, let's take. That looks like a blunder because I take and take take and he loses. Team Senior Mid. I like that. I like that name. That's a good one. Team Senior Mid. Nice. Team Senior Mid. <laughs> yeah, Hess is kind of in really bad shape in this game. I think he's already losing, kind of. I think I'll just drop back. I can always play D5 if I want to. I mean, like, let's go D5 here. I'm gonna go G4 soon. Just run my king to C2, I guess. I don't know, was that a slip or not? Maybe it was a slip. Hess is mad? Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is just awful for black. Knight G6 here, I mean, there's just nothing black can do. He wants queen a4. Okay, so I'll stop queen a4. No, no check. No, um, no checks. Let's go here. Kick the rook. Okay, I think I'll just go like knight a3 maybe. Knight c4 is a threat now. Very, very bad position for black. Okay, I just go here and take. I'm just going to go here and I guess I'll just take. Maybe I'll even just move the king. I don't even have to take. Also, Bishop, I mean, there's just so many options here. Okay, I think I just go here, maybe. Because the E4, I just take and play Rook E1. I mean, the whole house is just kind of falling apart here for black. Not much black can do. I can, I can also take this. I mean, I mean, what's going on exactly? I'm just going to take this one. Because, I mean, I can even take this one. Like, everything is just collapsing here for black. Let's go, I mean, oh, what do I want to do? I guess I'll just go here. Probably I'll take the bishop next move. I have knight of four maybe as well. Let's take. Um, let's just go knight c2, bishop a3 maybe. Actually, it's a safe pre move, so I'll just play it. Uh, I can play knight d4, even just bishop e2. Let's go f4, force a trade here. Knight g6, probably just rook g1. Actually, that wasn't so smart by me. I gave him a little bit of a glimmer with that. That was kind of un... Okay, let's just go here and guard. Okay, we got the dub. Let's keep going. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go here. Maybe Bishop G. Oh, oh! Now we play Hans with eight minutes left. That's kind of funny. I guess I should try to beat Hans. 
it doesn't even no but Hans is top 16 no matter what so there isn't really much to play for for either of us really um okay, let's go here I can play c5 I mean I'm gonna go a5 I don't know if it's best all the moves are playable let's just take play e6 probably knight b6 next move Mm, let's just go here. Have I ever seen Jose MVP stream? Yes, I have. Very, 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 very talented chess player. Rook B was, was kind of wrong, by the way. I think, but maybe not. Feels kind of wrong at any rate, but we'll just cast. On C4, I go C5. Plays Queen C2. I'll play C5 here. Try to... Sh stretch the center a little bit d5 can take if i want i'm actually gonna go for a thematic let's go for a thematic sack i don't know if it's good but i want I, i'm kind of bored and i want to go for something exciting so let's play rook b4 and i guess i'll take with this one okay plays rook c1 i guess i'll go here i'm just gonna play rook b and i mean i'm gonna force him to actually take although he has knight f4 which is a good move i still don't care i'm still gonna force him to take Oh, wow. He refuses to take. Wow. Hmm. I can obviously just trade and make a draw. <sighs> Very... I mean, does it even matter if I draw? Probably not, although my rating... I'm gaining points if I win this game. So, you know what? Let's keep going. Let's, let's take a chance. Okay, takes... I'm a little surprised by that, actually. Because now... Or did I just blunder this? I did but i'm lucky i have bishop e5 uh, i have f5 also but i think knight c5 must be right just drop back and knight f5 next move go for the win yeah hans is very cocky now are you just are you guys just saying that because of yeah you're, you're just saying that because of what happened stop being weird unnecessary very unnecessary um i think this Oh, this is just... Wow, I just... I mean, he had rookie one, which was mate, but he missed it. Okay, now I do have h5. I also have bishop c3, kind of, which is a little bit weird. I also have knight d7. I don't really want to throw this game, so... Let's see what I can do. h5 is obviously completely fine. I think I'll just play it. And take. Knight d7. Don't love the position, but I should still be okay, maybe. Um, I think knight d7 is fine to hit the bishop. Check, I just take and block. When he moves, I take the pawn. I missed that, of course. Big mistake by me, obviously. Yeah, I kind of forgot that was a move. Hmm. Kind of throwing this one. Happens. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, that was a big mistake by me. I just kind of threw this game. Although, does queen b2 actually threaten anything? Wait. doesn't actually threaten anything, so I'm just going to go here. Because it kind of, there's no no actual threat. I mean, I can obviously take... Yeah, G, actually, g4 is a good move, which I also forgot existed. Let's go here. Yeah, this is actually just bad. Probably the exchange sack was a little bit too, too adventurous by me. Let's go here. Okay, I'm still going to try, though. Let's see. I'm also down on time, which does not help matters. Or wait. Actually, wait. What am I doing? Knight, rook e8. I mean... Let's go here. Hmm. Because if, if I get knight h5, it's not so easy. Wait, I have knight h5, maybe? I mean, I'm obviously losing here somehow. Wait, but I have... Uh, no, I don't have queen f4. Yeah, so then I just lose. Yeah, happens. Wait, actually, no. Wait. Oh, no, no, he's just... Oh, he's got queen d8. What am I doing? That was just terrible. Bad game. I should have taken the draw, but happens. I think you say it fast for the four. I think you travel roll for the eight. Not a big deal. Um, but, yeah. How, how long... What's that? Play on in some positions? Well, the thing is, we're at the end of the... Uh, end of the ooh, Raunak. What's he at 51? We're at the end of the arena, so it's like, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, 
Probably early in the event, I would have taken the draw. I should, I, early in the event, I make the draw and just move on. But this late in the event, nothing to play for. No reason not to go for it. Let's play D5. Did Hounds get banned? Uh, he was for a period of time banned, actually, for something. But no, he's not currently banned as far as I know. Let's play F4 and C4 here. Yeah. Wait, what? Why did Ronak resign? What? What? Okay. Well, now I'm going to take a break, you guys. Because we're going to have a break. Why did, he, why, did, why did he resign? No, but I mean the game doesn't count. Misclick? Okay, I don't understand that. All right, I'm going to take a break then. I'll be right back, you guys.